Today we will discuss uh, the Maho type distance relay, uh, which is a uh, uh, topic of uh, lecture series transmission line protection. Uh, in earlier lecture, uh, I told you the some drawbacks is occur in reactance type distance relay, which is that the reactance relay is basically not capable to discriminating the faults. Uh, uh, which is occur either in protected zone or uh, outside the protected zone therefore the reactance type distance relay needs a directional unit that is in operative under normal load conditions so this type of unit employed for this purpose as voltage straining element opposing the directional element that is called an admittance or moho unit and this type of unit is used with reactance relay so that relay is basically known as the moho type of distance relay so here we will uh, see that the Maho relay is a very high speed relay and is also known as admittance relay. It is also sometimes called an angle impedance relay. In this relay operating torque is obtained by the volt ampere element and the restraining torque is developed due to the voltage element. It means a Maho relay is a voltage restrained direction relay. The operating torque is developed by the interaction of fluxes due to poles 2, 3 and 4 and at the same time the restraining torque is developed due to the poles 1, 2 and the pole number 4. Again if the spring control effect is indicated by minus K3 the torque equation becomes the k1 v1 cos theta minus tau minus k2 v square minus k3 this component is basically due to the current uh, current due to the torque due to current this component is basically due to the uh, torque due to voltage and this is due to the spring where theta and tau are defined as positive when current lags behind the voltage and at the equilibrium point or balance point we all know that the net torque is equal to zero hence this equation becomes k1 v1 cos theta minus tau minus k2 v square minus k3 this is equal to zero after mathematical simplification we find the this value and finally we got the value that is z equal to k1 upon k2 cos theta minus tau if the spring control effect is neglected that means k3 is equal to zero then we obtain this expression so uh, we can see here the above equation that means this equation is quite similar to that of a directional relay when the control spring effect is taken into account but the difference is there is no voltage term in the expression hence the relay has uh, but one circular characteristics and we will see the characteristics here the diameter of this circle is practically independent of voltage and current except a very low value of current or voltage when the control spring effect is considered but due to uh, consideration of control spring effect the diameter will be decreases. So the diameter of the circle is given as k1 upon k2 equal to the zr that means reactance sorry zr that means impedance or ohmic setting of the relay it, it represents the diameter of this circle here we will see that sorry the point ob is basically diameter of the circle that is that's value is equal to z the relay operates when the impedance seen by the relay falls within the circle in, 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 the operating characteristics of impedance relay is quite similar to the Maho relay where we will see the see on RX diagram the same concept is used so here we will uh, conclude here we will say that the relay operates when the impedance seen by the relay falls within the circle if uh, the impedance will be outside the circle then relay will must be not operated it is fact that the circle passes through the origin which makes the relay inherently directional. The relay because of its inherently directional characteristics needs only one pair of contacts which make it fast tripping or fault clearance and reduces the 
VA button on the current transformers. We also see here the impedance angle of the protected line is normally or approx 60 to 70 degree which is shown by the line OC. This is the line OC. The arc resistance R represented by length AB. This is the length AB which represents the arc resistance R which is horizontal to OC from the extremity of the code Z. This is the code Z. By, make, by making tau equal to or little less lagging than theta, the circle is made to fit very closely around the faulty area so that the relay is insensitive to power swings and therefore particular applicable to the protection of long or heavily loaded lines. So, for a given relay torque is constant or tau is constant and the heads of the admittance phasor y will lie on the straight line. This is the straight line admittance. So the characteristics of admittance relay is also shown in the admittance diagram which is shown in the figure. Mahu relay is suitably for high for long extra high voltage and ultra high voltage heavily loaded transmission lines and its threshold characteristics in Z plane is a circle passing through the origin and their diameter is ZR this is the ohmic setting of the relay because of this the threshold characteristics is quite compact enclosing fault area compactly and hence there is lesser chance to operate during power swing and also it is directional so by using this feature, we remove the drawbacks of the reactance relay, which is uh, the drawbacks of the reactance relay is basically what they may be operate during the power swing or uh, it's not capable to, uh, it's not capable to find the fault is either uh, protected zone or outside zone. But in case of Maho relay, by using the, by using the some admittance part, we will adjust the torque value and we obtain the threshold characteristics is quite compact enclosing fault area compactly and hence there is lesser chance to operate during power swing and also it is directional. So we can easily say that the admittance relay is more beneficial to uh, reactance relay and we will prefer admittance relay or maho relay in place of reactance relay very frequently due to some benefit over react reactance relay. So our next lecture we will see in the three step protection scheme and uh, different types of protected scheme which is used for distance protection. So thank you very much.